Hello everybody, my name is Amit and you are watching Aptitude360.online uh, this, is, this is video number 5 in the series of finding number of factors. In the previous 4 videos, we built upon theory and in this one, we are going to solve some toughest examination uh, questions that, that they ask you. And that is why I have written that solve and get selected. So, if you have this practical use karna aagya apne questions mein, so that is going to be marvelous right so i suggest this if you haven't solved those four videos go and watch them and number two go in the description box i have written all the questions there solve them on your own come back over here and and analyze uh, let us analyze this one together right so having said that uh my first question in this video is find the smallest number having exactly 18 factors now, if a number will have to have 18 factors, how this is going to look like? Just give me five, 5 minutes so that I can make you understand this. If a number will have to have 18 factors, first find out in how many ways we can write 18 as product of numbers. So that is going to be what? 2 into 9. And we can also write that it is as 3 into 6 or or we can also we, we factorize this we can write this as 3 into 3 into 3 into 2. these are the only possibilities in which we can write 18 as as outcome of certain products right and if this is the possibility i would say this i would say this this has to be a prime number is to power 17 do you understand this a prime number is to power 17 17 plus 1 will be 18 right over here over here we are talking about how prime factorization would look like. Uh, 2 into 9, I can, I can write this is what? A is to power 1 and, and B is to power 8. Try to understand this thing. If it is A is to power 1 and A and B would be what? Prime numbers. A plus, uh, this, this 1 plus 1 will be 2 and this 8 plus 1 will be 9. 2 into 9, the, the, the outcome will come out as 18, right? How about, how about this one? Can I say that this would be, this would look like a square is to b is to power 4. Now, understand 2 plus 1 will be 3 and, and, and this will have to be 5, not 4. And this 5, 5 plus 1 will come out as 6. So, a square into b is to power 5 would also give you an outcome where, where the number will be having exactly 18 factors. And, and can we write this as a square into b square into into c is to power 1 so 2 plus 1 will be 3 2 plus 1 will be 3 and if you add 1 over here the this is coming out as 2 and 3 into 3 into 2 will also be giving you exactly 18 factors right now we will have to minimize this number so what is that we should be taking we should be taking this last possibility because uh, the numbers must be your prime numbers must be the smaller ones so a, this possibility is a square into into b square b square into c so what i'm going to do is i will be taking this number uh, which number i should be taking 2 3 5 that is it because these are the initial prime numbers and and i will be taking this one as 2 to power 2 and 3 is to power 2 and this will be 5 is to power 1 why am i doing this because mere ko to numbers ko minimize karna hai agar maine 5 ka square kar diya to that outcome will be bigger one agar outcome ko chhota rakhna hai to chote prime numbers ki jo power hai usko hum badha ke rakhenge is that okay so this outcome will be 4 this outcome will be 9 and this will be 5 if you multiply them together you you are having this number 180 so 180 is the smallest number that exactly has got 18 factors. So what did I do in this in this question is first of all I found out as to how you can write 18 as outcome of numbers. And then I, I figured out as to how I could have written the prime factorization of, of these outcomes, right? And once I am done, because I need to mostly they will be asking you how to find out the minimum possible number then you will be coming over here where it's scattering jada kari ja sake aur waha pe kya karoge aap jo powers mein jo bade number honge waha pe chote prime numbers ko plugging karoge and this is going to be your answer i hope everybody is understanding this but is video ko agar samajhna hai to aapko kya karna padega aapko wo jo pichli charo videos hai unko dekhna padega 
उनके देखे बगैर इस वीडियो में आप कुछ भी नहीं कर पाएंगे बट अगर आपने वो चार की चारों वीडियो देख ली और इस वीडियो का क्वेश्चन आपने लगा लिया एन आई से दैट इन एग्जामिनेशन बीट कैट जी मैट और एस एस सी और बैंकिंग और एल आई सी यू नेम द एग्जामिनेशन एन आई टन के नश्योर ये सारे के सारे आपसे लग जाएंगे राइट बट वो चारों वीडियोज आपको देखनी पड़ेंगी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव इज अ वेरी सिमिलर वन वट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर दैट हैज गॉट ट्वेल्व फैक्टर्स नाउ आई से दैट इफ आई विल हैव टू फाइंड आउट ट्वेल्व फैक्टर्स आई जस्ट से दैट I will write in how many ways I can write. I can write twelve as outcome of certain products. So I will write this is what two into six. You understand this? And then I can also write three into four. And then and then if you see this, this could be written as this one. This could be written as two into two into three, right? And and if you if you factorize this one, you could also write th this way. now if this is the scenario if this is the scenario i would be changing the color and 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 this number could have been a to power 11 do you understand 11 plus 1 is 12 that one does, uh, it doesn't make any difference uh this number would have been i would say that a to power a to power 1 and and b to power 5 is that okay 1 plus 1 will be 2 and 5 plus 1 will be 6 and and 6 into 2 will be coming out as 12 well, that is what that is what the question is asking you now could we also be having a square into b to power 4 kind of situation yes we can have because this is 3 into 4 so a number is to power 2 and a number is to power not 4 rather it should be it should be 3 right so this is this is going to be 3 and this is going to be 4 and the outcome will be 12 and last but not the least this is where we will be focusing upon that should be a to power 1 and b to power 1 and this number should be should be c square now because the problem is asking us to find out the minimum possible number hum to ye wala option uthayenge और इस वाले ऑप्शन को उठाने के बाद में हम यहाँ पे नंबर्स की प्लगिंग करनी नंबर्स की प्लगिंग करनी शुरू कर देंगे यानी यानी ये क्या कह रहा है लास्ट ऑप्शन यहाँ पे कह रहा है ए एस टू पार वन बी एस टू पार वन एंड एंड सी स्क्वायर बिकॉज यू विल हैव टू मिनिमाइज इट मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ इस सी को ले लो टू बिकॉज टू स्क्वायर वुड बी द स्मॉलर नंबर तो दिस इज टू एस टू पार टू एंड देन टेक इट एज थ्री एस टू पार वन एंड देन टेक इट एज टेक इट एज फाइव एस टू पार वन राइट बिकॉज दीज आर द्री इनिशियल प्राइम नंबर तो यानी नंबर क्या निकल के आया हमारे पास में नंबर आया टू टू पार टू विच इज फोर थ्री टू पार वन विच इज थ्री एंड दिस इज फाइव एंड दिस नंबर इज कमिंग आउट एस दिस नंबर इज कमिंग आउट एस सिक्सटी सो सिक्सटी इज द स्मॉलेस्ट स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर विच विल हैव एग्जैक्टली ट्वेल्व फैक्टर्स यानी इसके पहले तो कोई भी एक ऐसा नंबर नहीं हो सकता जिसके 12 फैक्टर्स होंगे उससे बड़े तो ऑब्वियसली हो जाएंगे बहुत सारे हो जाएंगे बट 60 से छोटा कोई भी एक ऐसा नंबर जनरेट नहीं करा जा सकता सो दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक यू ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड यू अच्छे से आराम से इसको समझो और ये समझो कि ये सारी पॉसिबिलिटीज हमने कैसे लिखी हुई है यहां पर राइट नाउ है दैट लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर ए बी सी एंड डी हैव सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी एंड ट्वेंटी फैक्टर्स which of these could be a perfect cube number right now try to understand this if a has got 16 factor i'm just talking about a i'm just talking about a a has got 16 factors so so how can we write 16 can we write 16 as 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 1 into 16 so can i say that this would look like a is to power 15 kind of situation right uh a is to power 15 so a is to power 15 is what a perfect cube number How do you identify whether a number is a perfect cube or not? Power, अगर three का multiple है, तो that number should be a perfect cube number because fifteen is a multiple of three, three into five. तो आप ये कह सकते हो कि a to the power fifteen is a perfect cube number. यही तो होगा ना? A to the power five, a to the power three, right? Hence, hence this number will have a possibility. So, look, could be, right? Ah. Uh, There could be other possibilities, but then I'm not going to check those possibilities. Why would I be wasting my time when I am solving this question in an examination scenario? 
मेरे को एक पॉसिबिलिटी अगर एक ही पता चल गई तो आई डोंट इवन हैव टू फाइंड आउट द अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज राइट तो ए तो आंसर हो सकता है राइट right? और अगर ए आंसर हो सकता है तो पहले तो मैं क्या करता हूं ना जैसे आपको एक ऑप्शन मिल गया आप तो ऑप्शन पे जाओ ए अब यहां पे ए नहीं है तो सी कैन नेवर बी योर ऑप्शन राइट नाउ सी कैन नेवर बी योर ऑप्शन नाउ इट कुड बी ए बी और इट कुड बी ए बी एंड सी सो वट आई विल डू इज rather than checking for and all of these will also not be the answer so either a could be the answer or b could be the answer now instead of finding out for b i would be finding out for c agar c nahi hua to answer would be a aur agar c ho gaya to i don't even have to check for b do you understand this thing so this is where option elimination should also be playing somewhere in your mind that how how you should be eliminating your option with each and every step of your problem solving now ये करने के बाद में आई एम गोना चेक फॉर आई एम गोना चेक फॉर सी हाउ मेनी फैक्टर्स सी हैज गॉट सी हैज गॉट थर्टी राइट नाउ थर्टी आई कैन राइट एज वन इंटू वन इंटू वन इंटू थर्टी वन इंटू थर्टी और और इट कुड बी टू इंटू फिफ्टीन राइट और इट कुड बी थ्री इंटू टेन और और इट कुड बी थ्री इंटू Two and two five. These are the these are the four possibilities through which we can say that the outcome is going to be thirty. Now, and if this is the scenario, if this is the scenario, can I say can I say that this number is going to look like a to power twenty nine? Now, now see this. The power is not a, a a multiple of three, and hence this can never be a perfect cube number. So this is not a possibility. How about this? So can I say that this is a to power one into B is to power fourteen. Now you understand this is one plus one is two, and fourteen plus one is fifteen, and and none of these powers is a multiple of three, and hence the ये भी perfect cube number नहीं होगा. How about this one? So can I say that this will be a square into b is to power nine? Now understand uh, this becomes a perfect cube number, but how about this? ये तो नहीं है. तो इसलिए इसलिए यहाँ पे भी possibility नहीं आई. और अगर यहां पे देखोगे तो ये क्या हो जाएगा ए स्क्वायर इंटू इंटू बीस टू पावर वन एंड सी एस टू पावर फोर आपको तो सारे के सारे जो पावर्स हैं उसमें थ्री का मल्टीपल चाहिए तो यहां नहीं हुआ यहां नहीं हुआ यहां नहीं हुआ यहां नहीं हुआ तो इसका मतलब क्या हो गया सी कैन नेवर बी अ परफेक्ट क्यूब नंबर यानी एक नंबर जिसके थर्टी फैक्टर्स हैं वो कभी भी परफेक्ट क्यूब नंबर नहीं हो सकता राइट right? Uh, now i would suggest that you go uh, answer is a you go and check for b for yourself now this this question says that uh, this number how many factors of this number how many factors of this number is a multiple of 120 now uh, before you pick up your pen and solve this question the first thing that you should be uh, taking care of whether this is a prime factorization or not agar ye prime factorization nahi hai तो आपको क्या करना चाहिए उसको प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन में पहले कन्वर्ट करना चाहिए यानी कहने का मतलब क्या हो गया ये बेस में ना हमेशा प्राइम नंबर्स होने चाहिए बट देन इफ यू सी दिस टेन दिस टेन इज नॉट अ प्राइम नंबर और अगर टेन प्राइम नंबर नहीं है तो सिचुएशन में हम क्या करेंगे हम उसको प्राइम नंबर बनाने की कोशिश करेंगे बेस को तो दिस विल बी टू टू पार एट राइट एंड देन थ्री टू पार सिक्स एंड देन फाइव टू पार फोर एंड देन टेन कैन बी रिटर्न एज वर्ड Ten can be written as two to power two to five is to power five. Now this this turns out to be two to power eight, three to power six, and then five to power four, and and this will be two to power five, and and five to power five. Now, or if it's like this, then two to power eight plus two to power five will become will become two to power thirteen. Is that okay? Now three to power six will be the same. And this will be five is to power nine. So this is your number. This is your number. And in which they are saying that that uh, how many factors are multiples of one twenty. So पहला काम क्या होना चाहिए कि इसमें से one twenty को हमको discard कर देना चाहिए. One twenty का prime factorization कैसा होगा? How it is going to look like? So if you see one uh, twenty is uh, I'm not going to do it this way because it's going to take time. This is twenty four into five. Is that okay? 24 can be written as 8 8 into 8 into this number so this is this is the prime factorization of 120 so what i should be doing is this number should be written as as some k into 
some k into 120 k or i would say k into 2 is to power 3 and 3 is to power 1 and 5 is to power 1 that is what we should be doing right so in order to find out uh, now you understand what i'm doing uh, k into 120 is going to be this number now if i will have to find out the value k over here if i will have to find out the value k over here what is that i should be doing is this number for for k for k what is happening is this is getting divided this is getting divided by 120 so what is that you will be having you will be having a total of 2 is to power 10 and then and then this is 3 is to power 5 3 is to power 5 and then you will be having 5 is to power 5 is to power 8 so this number this number into 120 actually is this this one right now you find out how many factors k will be having so 10 plus 1 will be 11 5 plus 1 will be 6 and this number will be 9 if you multiply them all what is that you should be having this will be 54 54 plus 11 that comes out as this is 594 right so 594 numbers will be will be a multi, uh, factor of this will be multiple of 120 right now uh, this is 596 that's that's the wrong answer that has to be 594 that has to be 590 594 uh, now probably you're understanding what is that i'm trying to i'm trying to say now uh, this is what we had in that video in the next video we would be talking about some very difficult ex uh, questions uh, because if i would not be solving those very difficult questions i feel that my job is not done yet so these are the cat level problems if you are preparing for ssc you should also be solving these problems but if you are preparing for for examinations like cat and gmat you must watch these video and and try to see those questions if you can solve them on your own right uh, so i'm going to i'm going to see you in video number 6 of this series which is a number of factors i hope that you have understood what is that i was talking about in this video but then agar aapne wo charo videos nahi dekhi hain so fir again i am going to request you please watch those videos build upon your concept and then come back to these kind of questions wherever i write like solve and get selected when i say solve and get selected my my theory is uh, you have you have seen all those videos where we developed our theory and then we are solving those questions which jo exam mein ya to aa chuke hai ya to unke aane ki possibility hai right so thank you very much for watching this one i am going to see you in video number 6